Hi, how are you? Today I'm going to be painting Mystique because it is a gift from my friend, which I will also shamelessly milk for content. Let's get started. Also, sorry my voice sucks today, my allergies are really acting up, and it's making me sound like I've just been crying. Which is not true, I only cry in the shower. That's why I spend like 45 minutes in there. So here's how this is gonna go. It will be a black background with Mystique just kind of like walking. But here's the thing, she will also be mid-morphing into an FBI agent. Which I think will be cool, but also very hard. But that's okay, I'm not here to make things easier for myself. So I finally finished. It took a lot longer to dry than I thought it would. Like a lot longer. Now we are going to start sketching. Here's the deal. Since I'm doing Mystique, who's morphing into a male FBI agent, some of the body features are going to be different. Because, like, this might be basic art knowledge, but male and female bodies are built differently. So that means, like, the shoulders on the male side would be more broad, uh, the face will be different, the arms, the torso. I was going to say the height, but I don't know how I would draw someone morphing into two different heights. How could Mystique even morph into someone a different height? Because, like, as she's morphing, the body would be like super disproportioned, and it might even like disconnect itself, you know? Like say she was trying to morph into someone like shorter, and their arms were shorter, and if she like tried to morph from like her hand up, like let's say the other person's shoulder ends right here, but her shoulder's right here, so like her arm would fall off, right? You know what I'm saying? She would have to morph like her whole shoulder down to make it not fall off. She would have to be so careful about how she morphs or she would literally fall apart. Anyway though, back to sketching. So I think instead of like doing just a straight down one half FBI agent, one half Mystique, I'll do like parts of her turning into the FBI agent at the same time, you know? So like any everywhere there's an X on here um, is gonna be the FBI agent. So like right here, and I put the little feather things here to indicate that there's gonna be feather things there. And uh, this part, this part will be half, but like cut off right here, and then this leg and then um, maybe somewhere else, I don't know, maybe like right here, I don't know. Okay, so here's six different shades of blue. We're probably going to use all of them and more. I painted over the X because I wasn't looking for it. Good job, Annalie. This is already turning out a million times better than I thought it would. Wow. Then again, there's still plenty of time to screw it up, but I'm going to try to not think about that. This is the best painting I've done in like a hot minute. And I've been painting a lot because of quarantine. So something's going on with her eyeballs. Well, like, she doesn't have eyeballs, but like, you know what I mean. My brother just walked in and he's like, why are you painting Cortana? What do I say? What do I say to that? So I spent so much time worrying about this hand that I completely forgot that it was not supposed to be blue. It was supposed to be the FBI agent. So I might paint over it, even though it looks really good because I don't want too much mystique. I want like an even amount, so it's not like unbalanced, you know? Or I might find another part of her to make an FBI agent, because that's a really good hand. I might make both the legs an FBI agent instead to make it balanced out, because um, I don't know how to draw feet. Uh, I don't think I've ever properly drawn a foot ever. And also I don't want to look up pictures of a foot, because I don't know, that's kind of weird. And also I don't want that search history on my laptop. I don't know, it might give me weird ads. So I might just make shoes here. And also, have you seen a picture of Mystique's foot? They're like, spiky. Something's going on with them, I don't know. Mystique is easy enough to paint because I can just look up a picture of Mystique and it's just like Jennifer Lawrence Mystique. But I don't have a specific picture of an FBI agent. I could always like improvise and make up my own FBI agent but if you've seen me in acting class, I cannot improvise. I could use the FBI agent in my laptop. Yeah, I'm talking about you, but I have an idea. Who is your favorite male actor? I'm asking the person I'm giving this to who his favorite male actor is. Okay, Chris Evans, he says. So here's what I'm going to do. Brilliant, smart mind me is going to make Chris Evans an FBI agent. So, that'll be cool, right? Should I ask Beard Chris Evans or not Beard Chris Evans? I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll ask. Okay, well, I'm waiting for him to respond. 
I'm gonna start the FBI agent now and do like the details on Mystique and the FBI agent at the same time. Um, because I don't know why. That's just what I want to do. Okay, so now I'm gonna start sketching like the FBI quotes and all. Because I doubt Mystique would turn into a naked FBI agent. Because if he was naked and he didn't have his FBI jacket, how would you know he's the FBI? Duh. Okay, so he said beard Chris Evans. I don't know if that's gonna be easier or harder. We'll see though. So apparently the FBI logo is on this side. Not on this side, but this is the side I need it to be on. I'm very bad at planning things out. I don't want to put it on that side because it'll look fake. But I might need to. Man, I don't know. You know what? Let's just put it on this side. We can pretend that it was Mystique's first time transforming into an FBI agent. So go easy on her. She doesn't know what she's doing quite yet. It's okay. I found a picture where the FBI is on the right. I found it. I found it. Now my work is justified and no one can get mad at me. And by no one, I mean myself. Okay. I'm gonna start painting now. Let's try the FBI agent quotes first, and then see about Chris Evans' face. This is also a good time to mention that I can't draw quotes, let alone paint them. This is not turning out extremely as amazing as I thought it would. The mystique part is fine, it's just these freaking clothes. Why do people have to wear clothes? Also, since mystique doesn't wear clothes, uh, and when she like morphs into other people, she has to like make the clothes on them. So that means the clothes are a part of her, right? Because she made them. So do the clothes feel pain? If the jacket gets ripped or something, does she feel it? Does it hurt her? I mean, would it not? Because she can't make fabric. I definitely should have practiced clothes before doing this. Okay, I think the jacket looks good. And Let me close the window really fast. And also, I don't think you can see very well from that camera. So let's get a nice little close up. I don't know why the lighting got super gross all of a sudden, but anyway, here it is. Here's Mystique. That's more blue. It looks bad because of the lighting. All of this is blue. Um, feet look bad. Don't look at the feet. Uh, hair looks good though. Yeah, this is what it looks like. I'll try to get a better view when, if my lighting gets better. Or maybe through some nice little editing. I wonder if it was because the window was open that made the lighting better. I don't know. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna give her khaki pants. How do I even make the colored khaki? Okay, I figured it out. It's just brown and skin. How do I put pants on half of someone's leg? Maybe it's not brown and skin. Okay, so it's brown, gray, and skin. We love experimenting. Okay, that just looks like flesh. I'll, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Shh, it's okay. Oh. So the shadows are not brown. They're more like gray-brown. I was wondering why this just looked like sagging flesh and not pants. It's because I wasn't doing it right. It just looks like she's wearing leg warmers. Okay, these pants are fine. Uh, if they really bother me later, I'll fix it later. But now, let's see what we can do about Chris Evans. Yeah, I'll fix that neck. Oh my gosh, it's okay. I'll fix it, I'll fix it, I'll fix it, shut up. I mean, yes. So all I have left is the details, which means the eyes. Uh, I'll probably make both the eyes yellow, and maybe even glow in the dark, so it can like scare someone in the middle of the night. And then the hundreds of little scales on Mystique, and then all the little feathers of where she's changing, and then I'm done. And the FBI part, of course. That's kind of the most important. This is gonna take a lot more colors than I thought it would. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so here's an idea. I'm going to use these, uh, these are like nail dotters. You like dip them in nail polish and you like put dots on your nails. But I might use that for this. This might help it out. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. I just got to look at the camera view and it kind of sucks. From that, man, this camera, you can't really see like details and stuff. I'll give you a detail tour when I'm done. You'll definitely be able to see it close up if the lighting's good enough. I need a better camera. I need a better everything. I even need a better nose so I don't get allergies all the time. Hi, you could come in.
I was just talking about how great I was doing the feathers, but I realized I wasn't recording that entire time, so um, just imagine me doing it. Okay, so here's the deal. I thought I would get- is this on? This better be on. It is on. I have that problem so much. Okay, here's the deal. I thought I would get done with this in time for my haircut, but I did not. Um, so I'm gonna go get my haircut, and then I'll come back and finish it. I know you don't care that I'm getting a haircut. I just wanted to tell you so you wouldn't freak out. Okay, I'll be right back. Bye. Okay, I'm back. Let's get back to it. Wow, that lighting makes you, like, not be able to tell what is going on at all. Okay, well, I just tested it out, and you can barely see the glow-in-the-dark part in the eye. So, I'm gonna wait for this to dry, then go over it again with glow-in-the-dark stuff. But while I am waiting, I think I will, uh clean up the lines because I think I am pretty much done. I just need to clean it up a little and wait for the eye to get finished and we are finally finished. Wow. finished and I finished the eyes so let's see what that looks like with the glow in the dark okay here it is you can't see it wow here's what it looks like when I held my phone up to it so yeah that's kind of terrifying I know you guys couldn't see that painting very well at all so here's some close-ups and now I'm finally done I am really proud of this uh, this is probably the best painting I've done like all year I kind of want to keep it, but like my parents think it's weird, so I guess I better give it away. But anyway, that is it. Thank you for watching. Also, I might start an online shop soon to like sell art, but I don't know exactly what I'd sell. Maybe like paintings or something, and then I'd like do tutorials on YouTube. I don't know. Let me know. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.